Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Let's color the Spinosaurus today. When coloring the Spinosaurus, there are a few things we should pay attention to. First of all, it had a very huge back sail. Generally, modern animals with similar structures often have bright patterns in this area, so we can use bright yellow to color this structure. It also had a small crest on its head. Although the crest wasn't big, it was likely to be brightly colored. When coloring the Spinosaurus, we will mainly show you how to transition from light colors to dark colors, and use fewer colors to present the soft transition, so that we can create some texture. When coloring later, we paint the belly yellow, and the back brown, and emphasize the part in between by using an intermediate but brighter color, which will give the picture more depth, and make the skin texture more prominent. Now, let's color the Spinosaurus. Start by painting the lower half of the Spinosaurus body light yellow. Let's outline it first, beginning with the part below the teeth. In front of the mouth, leave a small area for dark colors. The neck should probably have an area like this. Most of its body will be colored yellow. We color the belly here and extend to the inside of the shank and the same goes for the front of the body which would extend to the inside of the arm. Fill this part first. On the legs below its belly, fill in the color just like this. Then move on to its tail. When filling in yellow, we can go beyond the boundary between the upper and lower parts of the tail in our initial sketch. This line will have other functions later. We should also color the back sail yellow and leave a small area blank along the edge of the back sail. Then move on to the crest and the area in front of its eyes. The antorbital fenestra and areas around the eye can also be colored with yellow. Now, color its dorsal side brown. First, determine the areas and color them one by one. First, color the neck. The cheek. The areas above the face. And the eyes. And behind the mouth. Then color the forelimb, the other forelimb. Next, move on to its back.
legs. And feet. Avoiding the toenails when applying the color. Then the front of the legs. Now, let's color the tail. The tail can be painted along the boundary between the upper and lower colors we drew earlier, mainly on the dorsal side. Between the belly and the side of the trunk, there is another boundary. We can draw a horizontal pattern along the direction of this line. Then, use light grey to paint the hard areas such as the front of its mouth. the edges of the mouth, the edges of the teeth, and the claws. This part is the knee that was left out. Then use dark grey to paint some patterns on its body. Along the edge of the back sail, we can draw some triangular patterns like these. Some patterns can connect to form more complex patterns. Leave out these blank areas for now. We can also draw corresponding patterns on its back. Some can be triangular, some can be large blocks. draw some small spots in the middle. On its neck, we can draw some slender patterns. Which become broken toward the head. Then let's move on to its legs. Draw some semi-circular patterns on its tail like those of crocodiles. And add some small ones. Then we use transitional orange to color the notches between the patterns on the back and the back sail to make it look richer in color. body parts that can often bend, such as elbows and the base of the upper legs, we can also use this color. Then move on to areas under the neck, the throat, and the tail. Slightly add the color to the side of the body to form a transition effect.
The top half of the crest is also applicable. Then, color the spikes on its body. Finally, embellish its eyes with green. Good like this, we've finished coloring this Spinosaurus. Thank you.